Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle. Big. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with my boy Crisco is in yeah. the building. Stop playing, man. Back on here again, man. You keep popping up, man. man. I, I rock with Boss Talk, man. Man, yeah. I rock with Boss Talk, man. I think you need to pull me a contract, bro. Say, so I already did. Nigga, I already got the money. I want the money, nigga. I want the bread. We I want the start like yeah. this, man. But we paper. got a special guest here today, y'all, man. Salute. He don't need no introduction, man. He been on here. He probably been on here more than you. He been on here more time probably than you, man. Same. Yeah, no, I think yeah. he got you. Nah, he got bro, you about nah, one nah, time. I've been on here about four or five times, Y'all about bro. four times yeah. in it. Both yeah. of y'all, man. Nah, four four yeah. Yeah. yeah, check it, man. My boy Sean Cotton's in the man, building, I'm man. Good, How you I'm doing, back, man? I'm back, man. I'm man. Back, man. A lot of stuff has happened, man. Shout out to Sko, he in the building, man. In the building, man. Building, man. Yeah. man, you know Sko gang, you be causing a lot of problems, man. I nah, wake up bro, at nah, night, remember, a lot of shit remember, going remember, on. Remember, yeah. I, remember this, I don't break the news, we just break just, the news down, my nigga. Exactly. <laughs> I don't break exactly. no news, I just break down what's out there, man. Shout out to all the black, um, I want to say content creators too. It's hard out here, and um, you know everybody, yeah. everybody's, um, everybody's in it now, okay. and it's, it's, it's a lot of money. Um, I just want to salute everybody getting it on the YouTube aspect. Yeah, I remember yeah. about ten years ago, it was super hard to do it. Yeah, now everybody's picking up a mic, and it's 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 uh, it's amazing. Now you it. you was one of the ones that ushered it, it uh, ushered yeah. it in. You yeah. know yeah. what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. There you go. There you go. Yeah, ushered it in. You ushered it in. Uh, like I said, a lot of respect for you when you yeah, first you came on here. You in that Zach TV era, my brother? Man, yeah, yeah. yeah. Gutter, yeah. gutter TV. Yeah, you in like that. Like I said, all of y'all, y'all man, y'all really was the ones that really turned this thing up for all of us. So I want to say. Say thank you, first no, of all. You know what I'm saying? No, for to. sure. And, and like I said, like everybody who is like new, even to like the the big D, like rest in peace to him. Man. Rest in like peace, big D. Like I always try to at least give everybody an interview or bring people on you their do. platform. Like because it's it's people like to compete, but it's like. It's room. For, it's money for everybody. Yeah, yeah. You say that, yeah. but then look at the position you in. You wanted the coldest dude to do this, man. Yeah, in the mean, south, for it, show in the south, yeah, bro. Yeah, but the gatekeeper, this shit, no yeah, lie. Yeah, he wanted yeah. them one. Yeah. So yeah. don't. Yeah. It's easy for you to say that, but if you put the right niggas in the right room, you can get that machismoism going yeah. real yeah. fast. Yeah. <laughs> where, where ego start to be people worse than ego. Yeah, nah, like real shit. Nah, you're right about that. There's a lot of competition out here, but like Vlad TV called me the other day. We chop it up often. And we swapped out. He gave me the AZ Faison interview. Wow. Oh, y'all um, swapped out. Yeah, okay, okay. I gave him somebody else's number to do an interview with that he recently did. And that's just what it's about. Like, it's no, just because this person interviewed him doesn't mean I can't do and ask him a different narrative, go a different way. So, yeah, I don't, I don't, this, the competing is cool because it keeps the, it makes, keeps you hungry. But at the end of the day, it's like, we all can get money off this. I shit. Gotta, let, me, let me ask you something. When you did the, uh, you just did the uh, the the phase on interview, not the phase on the AZ interview. The AZ. And when you did the AZ interview, how did you put? How did you come up with? Did you know the history of that already? Like yeah, far as the, the Alpo and all yeah, that. I'm was, a big fan of the movie. Okay, there so, we go. Paid paid full. Full, yeah. And then just watching Vlad interviews and this trying not to really do the same interview right. he did. Yeah, yeah. So I'm trying to get rare stories about Alpo and yeah. Alpo on the plug money. Yeah, I heard you going there. I heard yeah, you bringing up so, stuff I didn't see in the Alpo documentary. Exactly, so yep. So it was a lot of different things that, and then it's still a touchy subject because he's still in, like people are still alive from yeah, that era. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. So, yeah, Man, it was cool. I gotta ask you about, you know, I be up here mad. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I get upset. I, I'm old school, so I yeah. was looking at like complex that that hip hop HD, you know, when yeah, they did yeah. that, list, mm -hmm. yeah, that list, and they didn't put nobody from the south yeah. on it. I was mad. Yeah. I've been talking about it on my show forever. Mm -hmm. I said you had say cheese down here, you got eighty five south down here, you even got eighty five south wasn't on there. None nah. of them wasn't even mentioned. No, what kind of list was this? It was, a was list, this like a blogger list. It was, list a, it was like a, a podcast a podcast, through the blogger yeah. list. You had, uh, I think, you know, of course, academic. But you people really consider you know? say cheese yeah. a podcast? You feel me? No, it was media. It was media. It was media. So Vlad TV was on. Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay, Everybody yeah, yeah. was on yeah. that thing, man. That was up. On the West and Bootleg Cab was on there. Mm -hmm. It was everybody. I most definitely say yeah, say cheese TV should have been on there. Say you know what I mean? Cheese, I, yeah. I would say that for sure. No, you know Eighty five yeah. South should have been on there. I'm telling yeah. you, it's like you can't, South is big bro. Too. You can't, you can't deny these folks. But, but need to be on there. I, I don't look at Eighty Five South. that should have been on that list for some. I, I feel like that's really? like a show. Yeah, I feel like that's more of like mm -hmm. a, a. I mean, they do got Joe a little Buddy sit down was on part. there. 
Media. That's media. You see what I'm saying? Right. Right. I feel like 85 times more like a show. You know what I mean? Well, like you got comedians, you got three, yeah, four guys, yeah, and then they kind of. You know what I mean? It's, it's not really. It's not really. It's not really like. It's not really like the, like the personal interviews. You know what yeah. I mean? Kind of like the yeah. way Vlad say cheese, sir. You know what I mean? They, but, but they do the same thing. Joe sometimes. Button do though. Joe Button do the same thing yeah. they do. It's just hanging with some dudes talking. Yeah. That's what he do. But you, get, you know what I'm saying? They're like in a podcast room. A lot of times, 85 South is like a live show sometimes. Like they doing concerts. Sometimes they be sitting like in a room full no, of no, people No, 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 no. I'm talking about just the 85 South show where just, you just see it on their channel, on yeah. the YouTube channel. It's it's the same. Same. That's not real it's blogging, bro. That ain't the same, dog. How? That ain't, that ain't no real blogging, that. bro. So they either. not blogging, bro. I think that should be on there. I, do I don't think so, bro. I don't that, think so. It was a lot of people that name? The one that got into it with with my boy Charlemagne, where they was into it back and for who? The nigga from Rap Radar. Rap Radar. Elliot. Uh, Elliot. 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 Wilson. Yeah. Elliot Wilson. He was. He. He. They was arguing over the fifth and fourth spot. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. You got to realize when people interviewing people like these people do. We all interviewing people. Mm -hmm. So it's the same thing when you really think I about say, it. I say cheese should be on that list for sure, though. You know what I mean? I think a lot of people yeah. said that. Um, yeah. I, I. Me personally, I think people hold the Charleston White against me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You think so? so? A lot of people. A lot of people don't know those that, platforms. That probably that, is it. I didn't, think about think so. that. I didn't think about that. I think that. so. I a think lot of so people too. hold their nuts on me because of Charleston. But these are good interviews. Of, these are good. You know, I mean, these are good interviews. I know, but a they lot of dope. a lot of people don't like Charleston mm. White. Yeah, you right. They just I don't, under, they don't understand them, so they hold say cheese. Against they hold that against me. Yeah. Now you from Philly, right? You're originally, originally yeah. But I grew up in Arlington. He grew up here. Yeah. 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 Nah, I know he grew yeah. up here, but I would say he. You, you, yeah. uh, you Everything that built him up to be who he is today yeah. was Dallas. Dallas. For sure, I say that a lot. I don't think. I, I feel like if I lived in Houston, I don't think say cheese would have blew up. Oh, it's too real? much going on. You feel like right here in Dallas, feel, right? Yeah, for sure. Nah, okay. One hundred percent. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What's up? Now, I just, up. like I said, man, when I seen that list, I get upset because I just feel like it's biased. When you don't mention nothing under yeah. Mason Dixon line, bro, yeah. it's, it's Gillian Waller was on there, right? Gillian yeah, Waller was on there. Of course, they from there. Philly. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody yeah. up north you, was on there. That you ever, have you ever worked with Gillian Waller? You ever did anything I, with him? I, I, like when Gilly was rapping. Yeah, but, yeah, but then, um, like I said again, like Charleston got into it with Gilly, yeah. so it's like, I don't yeah. know what it's gonna be like if I ever see him again. And not blaming Charleston for anything because everybody has a right to their opinion, but yeah. Charleston's Charleston. Yeah. So he rubs a lot of people the wrong way and a lot of people tend to take that out on me, but I'll never uh, give up on Charleston. Charleston, he gave a lot of new, he gave me an older audience. Yeah. A lot of older people yeah, yeah, yeah. know right. me now because of Charleston, so I'll never switch sides on Charleston. I'll always have his back, but Charleston is Charleston. And now, crazy now that you say that, now that you say yeah. that, something else I was going to ask you mm -hmm. about. When you came on here and you and Charleston had that beef, was that a fake beef no, to play me on? No, it was a fake at all. <laughs> well, now, now, Charleston told me. Charleston told me to get back cool with nah. you. I was just, cause people called me, man, them niggas faking, man. I said, what? No, nah, man. Nah, yeah, somebody say that to you, too? Yeah, somebody called me the other day and was like, is he really into it with Woody? I said, I don't know. <laughs> I think, hey man, so. Woody I think at so. It right now. I think so. I, I seen that too. I think so. I, I think Woody really feel like you know Charleston. I'm gonna say this: Charleston White, in my eyes, is pretending like he's Woody. Think about it. It took him to run. Think about this: Charleston White is pretending to be Woody. Woody is a real rat. Woody still on the stand. Woody, no. Woody really about that the interrogation footage. Of, Charleston White just claims to be a rat. Charleston White don't really be ratting. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Charleston don't really be ratting. Charleston just claiming to be a rat. So at the end of the day, it's like you know. I, I think Woody's starting to realize that now nah, I got some real shit going on. I'm really out here in these streets going through it while this nigga just beside me screaming all this stuff out, but it ain't real. It's a character he playing. So, mm. yeah, I believe that that uh, that Woody is looking at Charles like, nah, you gonna get me in some shit, nigga. I'm really, I'm really in it. I'm, I mean, this is real. So you this think is, it's real? I think I, I think Woody started looking at Charles White and say, "Man, I don't know about you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I don't know about you. I don't know about running around with you, man. You feel me? Like I said, because he, he he spoke on little Boosie. He said, "Man, you know, I don't think Woody got no disrespect for Boosie whatsoever. I think Woody probably a big Boosie fan, and Charles to put him on blast. Why you think Boosie won't mention your name? I don't think Woody likes shit like that. Mm. I think he's looking like, ah, oh, man, you kind of yeah. yeah. I'm already at odds with a lot of niggas. I'm trying to be accepted. I'm screaming free young thug and all this. I'm you know I'm trying to be let back into the game. So I think Charles to White and Woody now. Nah, that's a good mix, man. We done, mm. Yeah, I don't, that's not I a good." No, man, like I said, I look at it deeper, man. I'll be looking at who asked the question. No yeah. jumper asked the question. Adam 22 asked the question, uh, how is his relationship with Charleston White? You guys don't be paying attention. I see a lot of stuff from a different angle. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Who asked the question and why? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> we all, we do this. We all do this. Yeah. You know, it can, the way you ask a question can really make some things change in some people's lives, bro. Yeah. Like, how important is it to know how to maneuver in an interview? Bro, Sean it's, it's crazy. Like, 
I mean, you you pick one side, they say you choosing sides. You play both sides, they say you playing both sides. So it's a lose lose. Yeah, you just can't get too close to any side. You just kind of kind of got to be neutral. Like even with the yellow beezy shit. Yeah, like I did the yellow bees. I did two of them in one week. I seen that. I did the solo one, then I did the Charleston one. Yeah, I seen both um, of them. And you know, Rain calls me almost every day, so I we know. talk every day. And I told him it was coming. I said, Rain, we've done four interviews since Mo3 passed. I said, I haven't interviewed Yellow since maybe five years, six years. Do you feel obligated to call Rain, let him know, hey man? Nah. I'm like, um, I'm like Yellow, I didn't, come up here. I didn't, I didn't feel obligated, but just me as being a friend, yeah. um, I didn't want to blindside him. Yeah. Um, so I'm like, look, this is coming whether you like it or not. Um, I interviewed you when you wanted to be interviewed about certain things, and Yellow Bees, he has a project coming out. He wants to be interviewed and talk about a lot of things that haven't been addressed yet, and we did it. And he just had to respect it because, um, like I said, I don't want to – I'm not here to choose sides. I'm here to get both sides of the story and leave it alone. And I don't want to drag it out either. Did Yellow want you to take anything out the interview? Did Yellow hit you up after no, him? Did nobody hit no. you like, hey, man, take this out. I don't, I don't no, want this part. Of it. Nope. Everything was a yep. go. Yellow was like, if you ask me something that I don't want to, I don't want to answer, I'll tell you next question. Yeah. But he was like, let's not set up. It wasn't, um, it wasn't, I didn't have any pen or pad. I didn't have anything. We just talked about everything that me and him knew out of our relationship. Yeah. Um, he never hated on Mo3 to me. Yeah. Um, and Mo3 never hated on. They never. It was never really any. They never came to me with any with any with any stories about each other. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, that I can remember. Um, so so when you was asked, you was definitely, you was asking all the questions that, that everybody I feel wants like to the know. People yeah. really really been they wanted, wanted to, know to hear about from the him. Shooting. They yeah. wanted to know about the shooting. If he knew the people who killed Mo Three, yeah. Um, the night he got shot, uh, yeah. Roy Lee, um, me myself. Did I asked him? Did you feel like I had anything to do with it? Yeah. E everything I wanted because I haven't really had since Mo Three died. I really haven't talked to him a lot, bro. When you asked that question about nigga about him knowing the cats, yeah. You know what I mean? You know, far as him, you know, having a history with the cats who uh, was arrested for the, for the murder of Mo Three, mm -hmm. bro. Yeah, that, yeah. I, I had to sit up in my seat when you said that. I was like, man, this yeah. Nigga asking, asking like, the question. Yeah, I was like, hey, but I mean, like you said, they, they want to know this. Yeah, it's, people want to know that because there were pictures with Yellow Beezy with certain guys. Yeah, so it was yeah. Like, yeah. And you know, um, and when I talked, when I when I told Rain I was interviewing Yellow, he was like, "Man, just ask him the same shit you ask me. You always ask me the hard <laughs> shit." Yeah, it, it was so, it was a few questions that he said he threw in there that that he told you personally to ask. Yeah, I, you remember that yeah. on our interview? Yeah. I don't know what that Who, was. Rain what, or what, yeah, Rain. Rain. Oh, I don't yeah. know what was it. What what was the one you don't remember? Scope. I forgot which one he it said. He did say through it that he he, he was certain things. He I told about to. Boosie. He about, said, I told him yeah, to ask okay. that. Yeah, he yeah, did. He went, yeah, he went, yeah, he went, that foolish I said, what? We knew, yeah. we were like, what? Yeah, you know? but hey, that was good content, though. I couldn't believe, how did you feel in that interview when Yella starts to go left like that on Boo? You know what I'm talking about, Yella? Because, nigga, I didn't see that coming. I didn't see it coming either. I didn't see it coming, bro. I, I was like, damn, coming. I was years? like, damn. I thought that the, the whole thing was just a miscommunication between the two. You, me yeah. too, yeah. I didn't know it was like, or I thought maybe that the fact that Mo3, you know, and Boosie had kind of locked in for real, yeah. then maybe him and Yell just didn't really just talk like that no more. I didn't exactly. know it was like that. Like, nah, you know what happened, nigga. You came out here putting your nose in that business yeah. wasn't yours. Yeah. You know what happened. Yeah, I was shocked. I was that's what happened with me, too, because when Yellow Beezy blew up, me and him started talking less and less. Yeah. And then Mo3 started come calling me more and more. Yeah. So it looked like me and Mo3 were closer. But at the end of the day, Yellow had... He was getting booked more. He yeah. was more out of town. Mo3 would pull up on me, ask me questions and things like that. So I guess the same thing Boosie experienced, I experienced too because I stopped talking to Yellow Beezy as much as I used to. Yeah, yeah. 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 So. But you got to understand though, man, once you say something <clears throat> on these platforms, man, it goes crazy, you know yeah. what I mean? Like yeah, me and Rain, yeah, Rain caught me and cussed me out after the yellow shit. I didn't know he did. Bro, bro, I, 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 we talked, I read, <laughs> right. I'm like, did, what the hell did, is tell going me, on? Tell me, bro, do, do, in your opinion, do you feel like Rainwater ever wanted to, like, you know, fake a beef with Yellow Bees as far as Mo3? Do you hear me? Because people always say that, like, nah, Rain was the, you know, Rain was the puppet master <laughs> behind the scene. Rain wanted Mo3 and Yellow Bees. Do you ever feel like Rain was trying to ag it on? Like, Rain needed this for Mo3 career? I could, I could see that. Rain is a person that likes to divide and conquer. Mm. Like, even if it's fake beef, I feel like Rain likes when Rain likes when 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 people collide because it st it, it starts controversy. Yeah, mm -hmm. controversy mm -hmm. sells. So yeah. Rain Rain wants controversy. Yeah, and um, I can see that. Yeah. I, I I can see that. You can see yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. He, I mean, he, Rain he, is like a marketing genius. He just needs something <laughs> to. He needs some like the water to boil a little bit to get his. 
promotion off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I can he, see like, he, like, he like the Dallas, uh, what's the nickname? Vince McMahon. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. That nigga Vince McMahon, man. Yeah, he putting shit I, together, man. I just sit back and watch everything, man, and watch the trip fall. Do you feel like with the way the new Dallas movement is coming, do you, with the zillionaire those and the people that I you told, see I coming? I told you. You said I that said, last what time. What I say? Two, nah, that was before. That was two years. Two years, yeah. Almost two years year, year ago. A year ago? Yeah. yeah maybe. But at the end of the day, you know, you could see it because they was investing. I, I, I could just see You knew more than us. Yeah, yeah. I, I knew Zillionaire. You see what I'm I saying? I knew Zillionaire Montana was going to blow up because, like, that's, like, when you think of a Dallas nigga, like, that's what works in Dallas. Like, in order to be a successful artist in Dallas these days, you got to have a hood behind you. West got Dallas, to. Pleasant Grove. Got to. I agree. Oak Cliff. Um, you can't it's really hard being from a suburb yeah, you is, gotta yeah. be from in the inner you gotta go to DISD school yeah. mm -hmm. um, and one thing he looks like he had he has his own motion when you see him he's well put together he's well spoken um, his raps aren't they're, they're really relatable raps they're mature raps if you, you hold on I gotta ask real quick where, where is Big X from I don't know I, I, I don't need you know I heard he's from the Grove. Uh, I think I heard he was a Grove in Ennis. And yeah, I don't know. I don't okay, know. okay. I, I I've, I've been yeah. asked that question yeah, like I, I, a few like, well, times. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I've never really heard him say, you know, what he's Dallas yeah, or West but, Dallas. But, you know, but he still popped in yeah, 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 he popped. That's yeah. what I'm finna say. But he got a No, no, no. See, in Dallas, you if you have a moment on the internet, which I think Big X did, yeah, then you could. The internet rules everything today. But in Dallas, like coming from the street, you gotta have a hood behind you. Yeah, and that's why Zillionaire Doe and Montana, their way feels different from my than um, Big X way. Okay, it feels totally different. Um, and then when you look at Zillionaire, how he just he puts on, he he shares people's music. He he's he's promoting everybody and starting a movement. Yeah, and the 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 raps are relatable. It's not kill. It's not kill this person, kill that person. It's just refreshing. Yeah. So that's why I, when I seen Zillionaire from the beginning, I knew it was going to work because he's from South Dallas, a very very respected hood. Um, and then um, like you said, they invested themselves. They yeah. went on no jumper and said, "Hey, say cheese. We spent this much." Yeah. 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 Um, and then they're there. You could see them when you go to the club. They're outside. Yeah. Um, and they all look like money. They, they all look, yeah. they Boy, all look like something. <laughs> People can say what they want to about Zillionaire not being a good rapper, but it's just something you want to just support just yeah. because it looked good. Yeah. It looks fresh. It's new. He's not, his energy, it, it's not no hating ass energy. And that's why I think like Mo3 was a very rare, um, although they say he's from McKinney. I don't know. Yeah. Um, but McKin um, Mo3 situation was rare because it was hard. And Dallas is hard for a broke rapper to make it. For sure. Yeah. Especially in these Dallas, days. you kind of got to have, have a some, little yeah, bag. Yeah. You gotta yeah, yeah, got to have a little something. You got to. And that's what, made, that's what made Mo 3 story really unique because he all the odds were against him. That's why I, I shut. I told Yellow Beezy and Charleston, I was like, no, Mo 3 was the underdog. Yeah, for he sure. He was the eyeball. For sure. Real shit. He yeah, was, now, you told he, the truth about he that. Was yeah. the dirty, he was the dirty short nigga that, yeah. that, that, that come on now, yeah, let's, let's be honest. Yeah. He came, he got I out the mud. With, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But he was the underdog. And um, Yellow Beezy, the, the Trap Boy Freddy's, the, the, uh, the, 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 um, that wave. That wave. They yeah. had money. They had money. Yeah. They look fresh. Yeah. They look fresh. Yeah. yeah. So that's yeah. why I knew Zillionaire and them were going to blow because they had hood behind them and then they just look like some dope boy fresh Dallas niggas. Yeah. Yeah. yeah them dudes right there, like I said, I hear their music and stuff. How important is it for them to get a big song? A big song. Because Man. there's, you got That's On Me, you got. Uh, Big X don't even have a big song. Yes, he do. Which yeah, one? Yeah, 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 yeah. I just don't song. call that biggest nah, big as no That's bro. On Me. It's bigger than That's nah, On nah, Me. Nah, 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 it's nah. on That's On Me level. <sighs> then he got that mm -hmm I asked you a question. Is it on that That's On Me yes, level? Bro, they Is play it that. on that ice cream paint job yes, level? Yes, they play What you think? Yeah, Let's I be mean, here. I mean, uh, Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna say. Yeah, I mean, I've been hearing this shit like on commercials. I love the Texas song. I think to me, his song sound. To me, I could listen to Big X all day, not yeah. just one song. Yeah. I'm talking about you can put his stuff on and ride to the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But when it comes to a big song, when a nigga look from the outside looking in, do they consider that Big X big song, Texas? Bro, they playing that That's shit. That's a big at, song. They Everybody playing that shit song. at UT yeah. games. Of course, they, Texas they, gonna play yeah, it. But I'm talking about the Mavericks, Astros. It's Texas is its own country. It's big. Yeah. 
So it's huge, bro. And he's the I most. I showed a lot of love and, on that. Oh, and, and Big X, he's the most certified. Uh, uh, solid, well, he has the most platinum and gold records right now, more than anybody. Anybody, yeah. ain't nobody touching so, him. Yeah. yeah. Ain't a big fat nigga, bro. He's standing yeah. out. Oh, that nigga, mean, you can't, yeah, you can't big, miss any dancing with his yeah. shirt off. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's dancing with his shirt off. He's standing out, bro. His, 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 I think his, his I seen Kevin Hart. He, don't, he don't even need a hood. Yeah. He's, no. he's too commercially. Right. He's Some commercial. Kevin Hart yeah, 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 told him, put that shirt back on. But, man, yeah. I say keep that shirt off, man, because it makes him yeah. stand out. Yeah, make him stand out. Yeah, for real now. But I think his image is, he's definitely good. Don't get it twisted. I mean, his music is Really, ain't nobody touching him it's right now. Nobody. Still in Dallas. Yes. Yeah, I don't think so and, and other and the South. Think about the South. It was just him, Mexican OT, and D Baby, and D Baby yeah, yeah. for a minute. Yeah. yeah. So is it anybody true. else trifecta in that right I now? Think, man, I'm getting a lot of calls about Zillionaire. Zillionaire, Zillionaire in Montana. Um, yeah. Just the whole new. I like Z the Wizard too, man. Um, um, then I, I still like Sauce is still doing this thing. Yeah. Sauce, Sauce um, is dope, man. Yeah. He, he, he Sauce is he's just one song away. Yeah, that just comes with just keep. I don't ever see that happening, bro. Yeah, don't, big, see I don't that. ever see that happening, bro. I don't ever see that happening for Sauce. I think you know, what I, mean? I think his music been dope already. I've already heard records. Yeah. I feel like that could be the one, right? And it just it's, okay. Oh, do I, do I Sauce so. have a big song? What's his big song? Um, I would say um, that, damn, that, that everybody when they think of Sauce, they think of this song. When, yeah, I, it's what, the um, the one with the so it's like a slower beat. The slower beat you with should know, yeah, yeah. Uh, with the sample it's in on there. the tip of my it's on the tip of my tongue. Yeah, it's, the, um, street uh. Street gospel, some gospel, some yeah, uh, yeah, gospel. Yeah, you gospel, know what I mean, yeah. I ain't gonna lie, I can listen to any I, when he remixed nah, that Rodney Ojo yeah, Cooley. It's all kind of really song. rap, bro. Ghetto gospel, ghetto gospel. gospel. Oh, man, yeah, I'm yeah. tripping. Sorry, yeah. my bad. I ain't gonna lie, yeah. all this ghetto shit, gospel. all of it be punching the man, same. Bro, like, nigga can rap, though. bro. That nigga can rap for real, yeah. lyrical cat. But like, you know, I just feel like he don't. I feel like he don't need that big record. Yeah. I feel like just it is some cats who just they never get that big record, but they legends. Yeah, me, I mean, that's where I feel like he. I don't think we'll ever see a. A commercial sauce. Well, I don't think that nigga want to be that man. Mm -hmm. It can happen. He nigga. gets far away from it. Really, my diamond, man. It can happen. That, bro. It can happen. I think so. I think. I think as over the last year, he's I, been taking this shit super but, serious. But look, but, 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 but no, y'all understand. He's from that nigga's caught up in two different worlds, bro. He's like from the the, the old school world the new, mixed with yeah, the new. He's like yeah. the, you, you still gotta compare him to the, the H town niggas and shit. And the new cat. But, but, so see, like, but see, what Sauce I don't did think he right. Needs that. What Sauce did right is he kept his catalog. So all those different tapes, he's getting fifty to two hundred thousand dollars a month just off streaming. I knew that nigga was wow. eating. So it's, it. it's, it's 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 he's doing it right. He's not he's not shooting for the big rep record if it happens, it happens. It happens yeah. But he he's 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 counting on the catalog of his music. Yeah. yeah. And he has over twenty some solo albums. So. When you don't have a hit record, but you have that catalog, you're not you. Don't, you don't have to force yourself to make that hit because yeah. you're seeing that monthly. Right. That's what I'm. That's what I'm kind of saying. Exactly. I, I feel like yeah. he really don't need that. I feel like he going he, he that nigga, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah. The old, old H town day, not, bro. I do want to say this though. I don't want to. Uh, uh, Big X is a legend. I don't think I ever get an interview though. He he told somebody. Uh, he said. Um, I think he said something like one of the lines were like I, I didn't believe. Well, I don't know. You with him, that's what he yeah. said. <laughs> he said, "Oh, you heard that? Not in here, but he, I can okay, tell where you're going." It was just one of them things, like, bro, like it just happened like that. I don't know. Yeah, like, he was rapping. He did his shit with half pint, and then he took off. So it was like. He he, it's like based off what he told somebody, he was acting like I shit on him. I never shit on him. He never, we never had a conversation. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest. But with then you. it's like, but then you go to other platforms who who don't even right. Bro, let me tell you something. He came on Boss Talk. I've been trying to get him back ever since. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. But I talked to him, but I, at first you could get a hold of him, but I think with the way, with the way they're, yeah. they're, they're, they're they be being pulled from yeah, here to there. bro. So I'm not trying to say that, that, that he won't do it, because you got a dope platform, but I can tell you right now, he got a lot of options, bro. You're but that's right now. So he go, I think that's Bootleg Kev gets, anytime he want an interview, yeah. he going to get an interview yeah. with him. I don't see him. How many interviews do he do? He don't do a lot. Does bootleg he? Kev is with, is Bootleg Kev with Barstool Sports? Who is he with? I don't know. That's who. why he made the list. All, all, all right, the right, there we go. complex there we list, go. they all got partnerships. <laughs> there we go. Oh, there that's there what we, it is. There we go. Know man. somebody. There we go. I didn't want to go there. Know somebody that knows somebody. I didn't want to go there. When you keep saying Bootleg Kev, I'm like, I be looking at his numbers and shit. I be like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, uh, yeah he, he's with somebody. Yeah, you know but mean? he definitely gets those interviews, the ones that But I just want to say that, though, like. No, that's no hate. That's no hate. Yeah, like. This is Big X from Texas. He's going to have to come back through Boston. And it's just like. 
just stop acting like I sh I never shit on you, bro. Like I never did that. Yeah. So you you I just put I just want to put that. Well, out what there. did you do? Cause you had to something. You didn't just pull that out the air. What did you do? That thing nothing. back. You know. Or you just feel like you just you wasn't promoting it. She just thought he wasn't rocking. He was never rocking with me on my way up. That's like yeah. Feel. And, it's, and um, uh, Mexican OT said that too. Same for thing. Mexican OT and D baby y'all said that. And and Cena Cena spent over a hundred thousand promo on D baby on say cheese. Bro. That say cheese shit helped him. Yeah. Let me tell you, sir, I've been trying to get Mexican OT too. And, and the reason I, I, I had a relationship with B Dunn. So me and B Dunn, I had interviewed yeah. them. They had promised me that interview early <laughs> before he even blew. Yeah. I already, I'm like, man, when I'm going to get the interview? Then this nigga just took off and they said, man, hell, I can't get him to do it. E. Mm -hmm. I'm like, man, but we talked about this in Houston. I came several times. Y'all said y'all going to get him to me. But when, after it was all said and done, I couldn't get him. So he too big. Do you think people just get too big? Yeah, you bro. said something dope they on do the last one, though. You oh, said they, they go up, and when yeah. they go up. They going to come back. They're, come on, fam. <laughs> hey, come on, bro. Hey, I was on my way there. I was about to, I, I was about to ask him. Was about to he said Look, that last time. Hey, I was on my way. I was going to say, but how many times have you dealt with an artist and they might not want to? You know, they, they, ain't, they ain't really rocking with you. But then later on, that two, you three know, year period go by, niggas start to come back down again and oh man safe I need that interview bro yeah it, it happens more it happens a lot a man. lot and, yeah um, more than bro bro who is somebody bro throw somebody on the bus my name who is somebody who you <laughs> feel like it, throw, I mean, who, who is somebody who's like man I, you, you, you want to rock with them they, they now nah, they're big they at the top right now and then later on two three years later I don't, I don't want to throw nobody on the it, bus it's somebody <laughs> bro it's a it's a lot of people bro like I know it's some chats man it's a lot of people it's a lot of man yeah. be honest bro be honest but do you do you feel like Yellow Beezy was one of them cats? Um, now, uh, let's say if Yellow Beezy had a number one hit and he was on tour and doing that, I'm not sure if I would ever got no. an interview again. Look, I'm gonna keep it like, like during the that's on me baby time, was y'all was y'all was still like yeah, like okay. I felt like I felt like then, but I'm just saying like if if Yellow Beezy was the, one of the hottest artists in the game right now, yeah. would he had came back to do an interview with me? Yeah. I don't know. Right. Come on. Keep 100. Yeah, let's keep 1,000. I don't know. Let's yeah, but you got to think about it, though. A lot of but stuff. A lot of time, is time has transpired, and a lot of events kept him from doing certain things in the city. Mm -hmm. You know yeah. that. Yeah. So at the end of the day, it was a lot, I think he was going through a lot of stuff where he felt hurt about some of the stuff that happened but I still during, believe, the, during the beef. So yeah. I don't. if that beef and that stuff hadn't happened like it did, do you think he'd have been on your show? Yeah. You see what I'm yeah, saying? You gotta look yeah. at it from that perspective as well. Yeah. Because yeah. a lot of stuff changes the way people look at you and the way they maneuver just because of the way things is transpiring mm -hmm. in the yeah. city. That's you know true. what I'm saying? You got Very a lot true. of brothers that yeah. died in the city. Yeah, yellow woods stay away from interviews, period. Yeah, yeah. Like you can, said, that's what point. I told him when I interviewed yeah. him. Like, I couldn't be mad because you didn't go to nobody. Who I me? Mean, I came, I went forward. Well, like I him, made a like phone call. Like I made a phone call, man. You know, he he, he, we humanized him, man. We got him over here. You know, we got that thing. We'll bring you in and you become a human, man. Now, like, you basically know, I know when he going to say cheese about what I'm going to get. When you come on here, it's a whole different ball game because you got Miss Jamaica, you got people, man. It's, nah, it's, it gets serious. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It gets serious. I ain't gonna lie. What, did he, what serious. did he say about the Charleston interview when you interviewed? No, nah, he was actually good with it, and he just said he had he had evolved to a place of forgiveness. See, yeah. over here with Miss Jamaica, it's a whole bunch of stuff he gonna say that he not gonna even talk about with you because you're not gonna ask the questions the yeah. way she is. Yep. And I know that, so I know how to play my role mm -hmm. in that situation. Yeah, so, Miss Jamaica, cutthroat. Why you say that? But y'all be writing a script though. That's a script. Nah, we don't be never ever. talk. She we always, don't. I noticed Miss Jamaica That's take the hard way. Nah, Miss Jamaica. I'll be looking at some of the show. I'll be like, nah, bro. Hey, you from Jamaica? Yeah. Miss okay. Jamaica asked the cut through question. I'm nah, like, he's with her up there. Ain't man. no way. Tim Kingston, bro. That's how they Shabba get down. Shout out to Kingston. Shout out to Kingston. That's how they get down, bro. So uh, let me ask you this, man. Like, when you see, like, like when you think about Boosie, now, do you ever think you ever get an interview from Boosie? Nah. I don't know. Nah, Why I think, not? I think um, his home is Vlad TV. Yeah. Don't yeah, be the Charleston White thing he talked about. Don't be the Charleston White thing he spoke on. That's what it is. He say some people. That, it ain't yeah. the, because he went on Big Facts. He went on 85 yeah, he South. He went on, he, he went on a press he run. Not, he yeah, I don't Cam think he Capone want to be nowhere news. near where Charleston so, White be. I, I don't think he want nothing to do with that. Yeah, it's just a lot of Charleston White, you know. And yeah, it's a lot of that in the industry. A lot of people love him. A lot of people just don't understand him. Yeah. Tell yeah. me, let me ask you this, bro. What was his relationship like with Yellow Beezy behind the scene? Like when, when y'all first, was, was everything cool? Like off camera, it was cool? Yeah, it was cool. It was cool? Um, not too talkative. Not too talkative? Room, just yeah. Everybody That's just feeling each other though. out. Yeah. And then Charleston's not like, he's not, he's like a fly on the wall too. Yeah. He's real observant. 
everyone, you know, he always, uh, I noticed Charleston's like, he, he moves really militant too. And I guess that's just a safety thing as of yeah. time went on over the last few years of that, you know, the threats and things like that. But Charleston's real observant. He's going to make sure he looks at everybody in the room, make sure it ain't no, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So that's, that was really the the energy I got. I, I was asking you that because I heard a rumor. I heard a rumor that uh, in the Yellow Bees and Rainwater, uh, you know, little situation going on right now that Charleston White might be a witness, a star witness for what? Yellow Bees. I, I, I heard that too. What? Um, yeah, you yeah, heard, heard that too? too yeah. yeah. You heard that too? Yeah, that I'm he, hearing that he, that he might testify, he might I think, testify on Rainwater's on, behalf. On, yeah, or, 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 or the Yellow Bees behalf. Yellow Bees behalf, yeah. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. Now, yeah, yeah. So that, yeah, that's, 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 uh, that's, yeah. That's what I was asked. Like, what, you know what I mean? What was the relationship like behind the scene? So that's that, yeah, that's, that's why it, 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 it was actually uh, authentic. It was it was cool. Um, I could tell um, both sides were like, I could tell Yellow was was happy to to um, not even just with Charleston, but just to let everything get passed. Yeah, let man, me ask you: Do you think um, with Charleston White interviewing Charleston White, do you feel like that closed a lot of doors, and do you regret it? No, nah, it haven't really closed a lot of doors for me. Um, I don't regret it at all because it's opened a lot of doors. Um, there's a lot of interviews I got because Charleston reached out and or people will reach out to Charleston like, yo, I want to get one. So um, it, it has its pros and cons, but um, nah, I don't I don't regret it at all. Uh, like the Rollo interview I did with him that almost has two million views. Yeah. That was because of Charleston. Wow. Yeah. So it's a lot of things that where I'm like, damn, okay. Damn, Charleston said fuck them. I don't know how they're going to react to me if they see me. Um, but then at the end of the day, he's a lot of pros too. You meet everything here, don't I can tell. That's yeah, I don't try to overthink always, stuff. Yeah. I just think about um, when I'm out and about, I'm going to just see how shit goes. I'm not going to dwell on anything. I'm not gonna overthink anything. Um, you know, wh whatever happens, happens, but I'm gonna move right, and I'm gonna move with respect. I'm not gonna disrespect nobody. Um, and what Charleston says is, that's how he feels, you know, and yeah. how it goes. I wanna ask you about uh, just, uh, last time you was on here, you talked about uh, uh, P. Diddy and that statement that was made with that, you know, the freak the off. Said, yeah, the freak off is the new thing. Well, a lot of, <laughs> lot of, lot of, lot of, well, lot of, lot of, lot of, all last time he was on there, he told me that, that, uh, one of his friends had an encounter with, yeah. with Diddy and it oh, was very, you very, 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 And you seen this coming. You said it was some crazy I told you. stuff. I told so, you, yeah. so when you seen him get arrested uh, here uh, a few days try. ago, you you seen you knew that was coming. Yes, I man, knew it was coming. I, I, I'm gonna say this, man. I, I, I said, we all seen it coming. You know, from, you know the um, the raid was what in March. Yeah. So we knew something was gonna happen. You know what I mean? We knew something was coming, man. But I mean, can we be mad at that brother? Is that brother? I mean, what they say he had a hundred bottles of baby. What they say he had? Well, he had a, a lot thousand. of oil and thousand. he had a lot of sexual stuff going. But I hold mean, on, hold on, hold on. What, 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 what's, going on over, what's going on over here, Boston? <laughs> How many baby oil bottles are used per freak off? I don't know. I don't they know, said man. he was, they, they said he was know. loading uh, like a hotel, like he would load the hotels down as he moved is what I seen. Like he would, he would, it was yeah, shifting. Yeah. He was shifting the oil all over wherever he go. Yeah. You know what but, I'm saying? But remember, it's one thing about this case that I remember though. It sounds like Diddy's in a lot of trouble, right? People need to understand this is not, it's not a lot of victims in this case. I listened to his lawyer it's speak not, last night. Yeah. It's only one victim. Nobody, but bro, it's one victim. That's it. It's Cassie. The lawsuit basically turned into criminal charges. That's mm -hmm. it. All the people they speaking on are witnesses. The lawsuits, the civil suits, these are people who are gonna be brought forward as witnesses. So yeah, there is no, I know you're thinking right now like it's gonna be a lot of no, girls. No, 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 what I'm there thinking about, no, let me uh, tell you what I'm thinking about. Yeah. I'm thinking about the gun 
the, uh-huh. the rubbed off serial number. Oh, that's yeah. I've seen that serious. too. New York. I've seen that. Yeah, yeah but oh, I don't man. think they found them guns in New York. I think they found them Miami. Miami. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but but just rubbing that serial number off mm, on a few serious, choppers yeah, is serious. serious. Yeah, so is serious. I go into it. Called it was just called a racketeering charge. Yeah, yeah. what they yeah. Chop, yeah. what they call it. They get the mafia. You know what I mean? Yeah, organized crime. You got a lot of guns with with smudged off serial numbers. That's another level, man. What you doing with these guns? I don't know because the niggas ain't handling no business. I ain't never heard right. I ain't never heard. <laughs> they might have never smooth criminals. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I mean, I don't know, man. I, I was wondering too, like, what, what would Diddy have these weapons for? Like, you, you a billionaire? Like, why would you even? You know what I mean, like, no, you would get, think a billionaire would have legal weapons? Man, that's got, what's that boy name? Have, what's what's that boy name? His son, the king that got king name? Well, no, Combs, the boy, his son that yeah. got his name Christian written all Combs, over. Just, it's all I over. So. Man, yeah. no, this is what a kid would have. Oh, you think his sons? his sons, man. Them boys, them boys flipping, and you heard him come out with the diss song soon as. Yeah. Yeah. Either like, way, if I was pops, I t- I just you know I mean I got so much I'm facing it, already, bro. I just I, I mean yeah, I wouldn't even let my sons take that. Yeah, take it. Bro, yeah, he got to take that shit, man. Yeah, no Diddy, take no Diddy, that, right? Take that, that, take that, 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 no Diddy, man. But nah, take that. It's crazy, man. <laughs> take that, no take Diddy, that. man. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just feel like man, you know, you, we we sat back and we laugh about this, but how many brothers? Or is it going to be? And will there be more? I think a lot of and, shit about to unfold. And who do you think will be next? Because I've heard it could be anybody. I've There's heard so names Will. I've heard Will Smith. I've heard other names. So many people. CEOs I'm gonna tell you, they're going to come in I, more brothers, it's man. Not gonna, no. I'm going to tell you, it's not going to be. Jay? It's not going to be Jay-Z. I hate when people bring his name up. That's not happening. That's why that black man. Let what me tell you, you something. Let me tell you something. You got people how, how brothers move. Y'all notice that brother went and got married? Y'all notice that brother? You notice everybody just kept running the streets and doing what they wanted to do. And that nigga went and got married, had kids, and sat down and started, became a corporate guy. You feel me? I don't think Jay now. I don't think Jay is dumb enough to be caught up in others. You feel me? That's what you got beef for. You feel me? A woman is gonna keep you out of shit. I don't think Jay is gonna be in none of this, man. Watch, watch my word. If Jay Z had anything to do with this, them rumors would have done got it back around to Roger Goodell yeah. in the NFL, and they would not be doing Brother, business with Jay Z. Brother, this goes back. It goes back ten years, and I don't know how long ago when yeah. she kicked him when it's when the sister Solange kicked him in the. That elevator. was family business, yeah. man. Come on, man. That was family business. Hey, we all the guy to our girl sister. I, 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 I talked to Dehaven yesterday, and Dehaven agrees with. You, he don't feel like you I don't know, think Jay is. Well, in this, you man. know the reason D Haven agree with you because he said he feel like he working with him because when he was being investigated, Jay never got a call. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He said, but he was rapping about it the whole time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it's a YouTuber that came out saying that uh, he walked in the room seeing Trey songs and that, um, I call uh, Cap. I call Cap. I- on that last so? night, I called really? Cap on that. That was I seen that was an academics, right? It was some guy. Well, I see yeah. I see academics play it. It yeah, was a white yeah. dude who said it. I forgot what his name Fousey was. Fousey Tube or something. There we like go. That. There we go. Yeah, yeah. yeah uh huh. But I don't think I think they I think I don't think they're gonna let you walk in the room and just catch them doing that. I think they mm-hmm. gotta groom you first before they let you just walk in and catch Trey Song and Diddy kissing. I don't think mm-hmm. anybody walk in on that. Now, am I saying it's not happening? Nah, I'm not saying that. I think it's some fruity, you know what I mean? Some zesty shit. I believe so, but at the end of the day, man, the, the part that really blows my mind the most with Diddy is when they say he lined five, six niggas up to knock his girl down. That's the part that really blows my mind. Like, he really got five, mm. six dudes to hit Cassie. That's where all that damn, that's where this coming from. That's where all that damn big look. <laughs> that's why they got four, five, five. That's where it's that. You don't need all that. all in up. Yeah, man, that's the part that blew my mind the most, bro. I'm like, bro, yeah, that's, 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 that's. that's, that's so that's in the documents? That's yeah. in the document. That's what Cassie claimed. Cassie claimed he was ordered, he was hiring male uh, like male sex workers to come and sit back and have sex with her while he while he uh, uh, while he sit up and masturbate in the corner with a camcorder and watch it. You know what I mean? So so was there anything in the documents where he's messing with men? Yeah, yeah, most definitely. Yeah, most definitely. That's it, the majority. Yeah, of yeah it. it's, it's things about men all in it. All in it. She so said, the men are these men uh, coming forward? Are these men celebrities too? Or we don't know yet. Um, no. Nah, from what I know, from what I know, these men are like off, like online dudes, like strippers and like, you know what uh-huh. I mean, like male workers, like you know what I mean, underground people. Like he, he, he they say that, that that's in the uh, that's in the indictment is a lot about uh, about sex workers. You know what mm. I mean, prostitute, male prostitutes. That's where the uh, that's where the um, the uh, sex trafficking charges are coming from. It's flying women from other states, right. prostitutes yeah, 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 yeah. to here. Have, even though, like I said back in the day, that was called just flying some. You know what I mean, flying some chicks out. But now it's different. If you fly some chicks out, they get paid. They go back. This is that sex trafficking. Now. Yeah, that's why I make all the girls that fly out for us to pay for their own tickets, and then I just reimburse. Hey, hey, that, yeah, <laughs> I mean, hey, you know what I mean, hey, you know what I mean, hey, and hey. I write it off of the business mm-hmm. sex tax write off yeah. or something. But I'm not for the buy no flights. No. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. But remember yeah. that. Yeah, when the girl mm-hmm. get there, if the girl get paid. 
She can now go back And, and I, that, I don't understand that How grown women Can agree to come somewhere Get a little money And then, and then You know what I mean It's called sex trafficking yeah, I'm, I'm, that, for, the, for them That for them Stomp down uh, you know, yeah, 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 man, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Really, nah. that's, that's really what that's nah. all about. Nah, you right. Man. Let me ask you something, man. You one of those guys that I look at as a big Lil Wayne fan. Like, yeah. what what did you think when you seen that Jay? It came out that Jay was the one. I know Jay, your boy. You just was saying that a while ago, you know. But <laughs> when it come down to the South, you know, two years ago, what they did in on the West Coast that, with Dre yeah. and them, mm -hmm. they didn't. They don't want him touch that no more. When it comes down to what's going on in New Orleans. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I was talking to a few guys. Talked to Silk the Shocker yesterday. I talked to a lot of people about this. What do you think? Do you think Wayne deserves a, a shot? Most at, definitely. You do, I know you're yeah, a fan. Yeah, yeah. You're a big fan Most of Wayne. Most definitely. And I just feel like, shit, when you do it on the West Coast, why not when why not when you come back to New Orleans? And I think New Orleans Super Bowl was like 11 times. Yeah, they done um, been over there a lot. Yeah, but why not do that with the hot boys? You bring the hot boys out, then you got Wayne, and then Wayne's going to bring out Drake and Nicki. Like, it's, it's going to yeah. be huge. Because if you look at it, the West Coast halftime show was the biggest viewership had to. That's right. So that's just, right. Just picture what that would have done on us on the when you bring it to the south. Yeah. yeah. Um, I didn't like that he got on the internet uh, saying that. I didn't like that. Yeah. I hated what? that, bro. I was yeah. pissed off, bro. What is the apology like that. for? Like what, that, what, did, what did you? What did you man, I'm hurt. I didn't like that. He should have just stayed quiet, act like he weren't bothered, his head down, kept working. Yep. But going on there like. Acting all hurt and shit, nah. And then they're saying that that because Kendrick was going to bring him out, but they're saying that that IG live hurt Kendrick. Once he Kendrick seen that, he, he was like, nah, I'm not going to mess with that no more. With the Wayne bringing the Wayne really? out, really? That's what one of the TDE sources or whatever say. Yeah, say, yeah. I know you. You a uh, that to big me time, to me uh, Wayne, to GDP. You tell me yeah. you love Lil Wayne. Man, Wayne to me is the greatest. Yeah, I think of all he, time. To me, yeah. I mean that that that, that is real. When it comes to you know wow. lyrics yeah. in the yeah. game, lyricism. You gotta like, say Wayne is number, Wayne had number the, one. The, the, the one of our the craziest runs, bro. Like and me and me being in middle school and high school, Wayne had so many songs leaking mm. at the time to where kids would go to school with a song that you would never hear and be able to sell that song on a CD for five dollars. Okay, he had that many songs like on these mixtapes, prefix, suffix, mm. Louisiana, yeah, like all that. Like it was just the, the just it, we would never have another Little Wayne. We would never. I think Young Boy kind of came close to it. But it just the internet made it. He, nah, yeah, yeah nah, yeah. But yeah, so. just just that time period of seeing how Wayne made people feel was just. I don't think we'll ever see that excitement. That nigga again. rapped over every beat. That every nigga rapped beat. over every. What, what, once, man, once you put out a song and he rapped over yep. it, it was his song. It was his song. Yep. But let me it ask you this shit. though: uh, going, uh, Joe Budden said that uh, Lil Wayne's health is going. He don't feel like Lil Wayne's in good enough. I don't think so either. To even do a Super Bowl. I don't think uh, so either. A, a, a performance because it takes a lot of energy. I agree with you that. You agree with that? Yeah, seizure. I don't agree with that. Seizure after you know seizure after seizure. Yeah, Yo, but, he, yeah. And then you look at him now. He's still. Then he. You don't think he could? Either? Um, I'm gonna say this. I just huh? seen him at Essence. He looked dope. Super Bowl is different. And not only that, we see Super Bowl, you got to have that air. You got to breathe. You and, you and right. No, real shit. You this have the to train. Show your life. Look, yo, look, you got to go. You don't think he no, can train bro, for that? Bro, look, you got to go weeks and weeks and weeks. No lean. No weed. He, some people can't sacrifice that for the greater good, bro. Oh, wow. you're right. What I'm going to say this, too. Agree with you, well, I just seen Lil Wayne do WWE. He did with WrestleMania. How did it sound? Man, bro. I don't even, man, you better go watch it for yourself. If you're a champ, man, put the clip right here. It's you know all what over Twitter. I mean? It's clip. all over Twitter. Bro, it don't look good. It don't look good, man. He it looked don't good look at Essence. Good, I'm not going to lie, but maybe he did how many songs? About six? Man. He did about six songs at Essence. It was all over point. Think, Super Bowl, you got to move around. The, the stage changes. You got to change clothes. Look, look how Usher was moving. Yeah. Yeah. It's like you can Super Bowl. You just but can't. Dre didn't change that many times. Who? Doctor Dre. Well, but they switch performers. Yeah. Okay. Why couldn't they switch on Wayne? Them. No, no. Remember Dre was a producer, bro. Mind, Dre was a producer. Tripping. Nah, Dre was a producer. He wasn't a performer. Remember Dre just doing the beat. So of course Snoop coming out, Eminem coming out, K Dot coming out. How come Wayne can't bring people out? They got a host of people. You tripping, man? What we saying? We want to hear Wayne rap. We want to hear Wayne rap. I don't think he could do it. Man, y'all talk. Y'all act like Wayne gonna Dre, play the whole time. Dre, he Dre, not no damn Usher. Dr. Dre never had seizures before right. either, though. Bro, that Wayne, you Wayne see his hair? Wayne had a seizure in a minute, homie. You see his hair? You tripping. I love Wayne, but yeah, I'm really. You see his hair? I, I mean, think, bro, I think Wayne deserves it. He's not healthy. Wayne deserves it. 
They done had people out there less healthier than him performing, bro. It's been some old ass folks out there before. Man, they can set this up and help him to get through it. I would like. I don't agree with that. I would love to see it, but yeah, I, I feel see like it. it's a lot of sacrificing that Wayne would have to do. And you just don't see him. I don't see him sacrificing. He's too nonchalant, and he do don't. You, I gotta ask you this: Do you think when he made them 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 statements about uh, you know Black Lives Matter and all that stuff, do you think that influenced the way people look at him? Nah. So you feel nah. like we know Wayne don't get not into politics like yeah. that. Me myself, I don't. But we know it, but I don't, other people that's dealing with this are looking at all he, aspects. Nah, people of love it. Wayne. We just know that Wayne's not in his prime anymore. Yeah. And is just that what it is? Now I did. I think that I think I think we should look into why not? Why not? Like I, okay, my bad. Kendrick just was. On the halftime show three two years ago, two years, right? ago. Two two years ago, it's other. Why not? Why not a Kanye? And I know Kanye. He Kanye's crazy. He'll N- stop the show. Right now, that's the nigga we can't trust. Oh, yeah. That's the <laughs> nigga we can't trust right now. That's the, I don't trust that nigga, bro. Hey, look, I bro. Trust hey, him. not right now, bro. Why not future? Um, future yeah. has the catalog. He has the fan base. Yeah, but you may tell you something, bro. What it is, bro? Future is not. I don't think. When we, when we talk about Super Bowl, we think about white people too, right? I don't, white I, people love I, 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 look, but I don't yeah. think he's that commercial right now. I think right now, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, it's just a business decision. It's just K Dot Summer. K Dot got one of the biggest records. I gotta go bro. back. I gotta it's go just back. Business. And, and, and he performed very well. Yeah, yeah, he performed very well. And, and he, he had the biggest record right Do now, bro. You, with it being Jay made the decision according to the producer of the Super Bowl, that Jay yeah. ultimately made that decision. Yeah. Do yeah. you think? Jay's relationship with uh, Birdman and all those guys had anything to do with the oh, choice that he made I, 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 because of the run-ins that he had back here. in the past. Yes, a lot of look how he looking. Look how he looking. Nah, bro. I, look. I think so. I think nah, so. Bro. I don't think so. Bro. I think so. I think they so. don't get along like so, that, bro. man. They not no they good friends. I, I see what Nicki they, was saying. They, they not the best friends. Wayne and Jay Z. They were cool. And Jay Z paid for I think what forty four million. Fourteen million. Fourteen million. And that's what I'm saying. I feel like Wayne and Jay got their own relationship. Birdman sent him a letter too that he talked about. Jay Z talked about a letter that Birdman sent him from an attorney saying get your hands off of what Wayne is doing you don't think he think about but that but you may tell you something but, you know what I'm saying but, but, but I think I think Wayne and Jay got their own relationship Wayne too old be looking at this nigga like his daddy and all that kind of shit that's Birdman I think Jay and Wayne got their own relationship and I don't think yeah, Birdman but, really played a big part in it no more maybe bro, back in the day when he was younger 10-15 years ago but I think now Wayne Wayne what 41, 42 did you hear what this man just said about Wayne is the GOAT <clears throat> and to be yeah. honest with you you don't think Jay-Z hear the same thing that Wayne is the GOAT sometimes it's a big all the time, but he, but he, but, but who ultimately Jay Z is also called the goat. Yeah. So you trying to sell? Or you trying to say? You trying to say? You trying to say Jay ain't no way, bro? I'm just saying. I just know he knows you how think, his legacy is gonna come play on, out if he controls nah, it. If I'm playing chess, nah, if I'm playing chess, I'm watching how happening. I move, bro. That's I'm not, not gonna move, put bro. you. If I know say cheese is in here, and I know if I put him here. And I know I got academics here. He's gonna be looked at this way on mm. this side of the world. It's gonna kind of make me work a certain nah, way. Nah, but I disagree with you, you bro. Why you think he ain't on the I list? I disagree, bro. You know what I'm saying? I know that nah. it's the reason why you not bro, on that list. Why do I care yeah. about you performing at the Super Bowl when I'm the nigga hot? I'm the nigga picking the niggas performing at the Super Bowl. It don't matter. Yo, legacy. Legacy. I'm, I'm up Yo, there. Legacy bro, I'm matter, so far bro. up there. I'm a billionaire. Bro. Beyonce, my bro. wife. It don't I'm, matter. I'm over exceeded every nigga in hip hop. I'm gonna push that narrative. When performing the Super Bowl don't make me look like he's like he's a goat now. He already I disagree, bro. I disagree. I think Wayne. Jay was yeah, the I, I, no, you no. said Wayne is the goat. It's two different eras, bro. You don't think Jay Z is the goat? No, no, it's two eras. No, 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 no. That ain't no. We talking right now. You different eras. I think Jay Z. Who is the goat? I think Jay Z is the most I successful rapper. I ask you, rapper. who is the goat for you? Jay Z. I mean Wayne. <laughs> well, who is the goat for you? Well, Jay or Wayne? Think, you, got, no, you said both. No, no, no. no. I'm, saying, I'm, saying, I'm saying Wayne is to me is the best rapper all time. Yes, but right. I, but, but listen, there I'm is. saying no, no, but I'm saying Jay Z is the most successful artist of all time. Oh, he's time. the most, be- he's the best entrepreneur that you're gonna see Ever. when it comes yeah. from a brother yeah. coming from. I think never they said Juvenile, Juvenile sold more records than Jay Z. They yeah. say oh, that's true. That is that's true. true. That don't, it, it, but it's Juvenile sold more records. If it's about record sales, this whole conversation M&M. needs to change. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, go to Eminem. Yeah, yeah. This whole conversation yeah. changes at that point. Yeah. All I'm saying is, man, y'all Jay need to y'all need to watch. Watch what you watch. What's happening? Oh, it becomes a southern thing where hip hop look like it's pinnacle. It's gonna be an issue. But I, you I can saying, promise you, you that. You ain't so seen you think, it pinnacle so you think yet. Jay hate Have on you the south? seen it blow up yet? Are like you that? saying Jay hate on the south? 
Hey, yeah, all the time. Man, I think a lot of people hate on South. <laughs> not just Jay. Yeah, yeah, not yeah. just Jay. It's you, a you, lot of people. You right. I'm going to say you right. This South, this South do deserve that look. So, I'm not going to lie to you. So they ain't Lil Wayne do deserve that look. I'm not going to lie, fam. I, I understand the business decision with K-Dot having the biggest summer and the biggest oh, he time. He definitely had the biggest but, summer. But you right. Do I want to see Lil Wayne in front of New Orleans bring out the hot boys, Drake, Nicki Minaj? It's a moment. Bert, I do want to see that. I'm not gonna, we you all want to see that. You just said something. You just said something. This here is a chance. I just had peaches on here. You think Jay-Z is the best ever? Uh, no, I think Tupac the great, the best ever. You yeah, know what I mean, yeah, I think, yeah, I think Tupac. I, 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 I think Pimp C. Yeah, I'm Pimp C fan. Yeah, you always on that Pimp man. I'm not going nowhere. I just want to say this. I just want to say this. Everything Texas, man. I just want to say this. I want to say, I want to say, Wayne is the best rapper to me all time. I think Jay Z is 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 the most successful. But I think Tupac is the biggest. Yeah, there we go. That's oh, what I, think, I think he's like the, the I think he's down. like the Jesus of rap. Yeah, when there you're we go. in LA, you're seeing him on walls painted. Like he's he's like he'll be he'll be to me. Tupac will be talked about in a hundred years. There we go. Yeah, and they're gonna try to say he was white. Really? Mm. You know how they whitewash it? I like that. Shit. That was just that, that was a good concept, yeah. bro. They say Abraham Abraham Lincoln was black. Really? Yeah. I heard that. Yeah, I mean, I heard yeah. that before too. That's, they, well, that's probably why they say he. They when they put that nigga on that penny, you know, so you know, they put that nigga on the thing back. They put that nigga. Think about it. They put a, a brown penny fan is worth one cent. They put that nigga on it. Think about it, right? You Damn, I ain't never thought about, about brown y'all penny. Hell, it's only man. one coin. is brown. That's crazy, it's man. You know what I mean? And they put that nigga on it. He was black, nigga. That's that. Yeah, he was black. It was only one. It's only every other coin, dime, nickel, quarters, everything. I gotta ask you this, y'all. Come on, I need your attention. I, I need. I, I'm gonna skip over. I, I know he was on that brown penny, but let's go back to Drake, man. You just mentioned Drake. Drake, yeah. Uh, yeah. Do, how does this look when Drake is called the 69 God down in New Orleans? <laughs> Come on, dog. No, no, y'all niggas got to answer that. This I, is what's about I, to happen. I heard Drake putting a cease and desist something out no, trying no, to get no, that no, song no, from being no, no. played. Answer, the, qu- answer the question, Sean. You need to be first. Like, Man. who? What? What Come happens on, when he go Come down on, there and, and saying that they not like us down there? Hey, if you want my, his career. if, if Come you want on, my honest opinion, I don't even think he's going to perform that song. They're, right? See, I See? really don't. I will yep. bet. I don't want to bet too much on it, but <laughs> I don't. I really think Kendrick's gonna come on there and try to be m- mature and yep. can show that he's not there because he's riding a Drake wave. Yeah, that's my opinion. I, I, I agree with it. I don't feel I like agree. he's even gonna perform would, that, bro. I would pray that that's I what agree. happened. I would he gonna pray. try to act above the moment. I'm telling you, that's how Kendrick is. I would pray that that's what happens because if he boy, done that, that would be hard on Drake's bro, career, bro. Bro, that nigga Drake Hart is gonna drop to his nuts, nigga, when that shit dropped by that <laughs> Super Bowl, bro. I'd be so devastated that, bro, if he dropped that, he come out to that, bro, if I was Drake, I'd be like, man, bro, I'd probably never speak to Jay-Z ever again, bro. He did. Do you think, do you think Drake, Drake is nervous about that happening to him? Uh, of course. I mean, I mean, I'm sure. He th- I mean, Drake, Drake might know. He might feel the way me and Sean feel. Like, nah, that's not the move. Can't I don't think make. so. But they say, well, according to Elliot Wilson, and I know he he knows Drake personally. Yeah. They say Drake turned it down two, three times. I'm hearing that too. I'm hearing Drake turned so the Super Bowl down. I don't think down. Drake said I'm. I am the Super Bowl. Yeah. That's how Drake thinks. I am the Super Bowl. Yeah. Wow. Like, yeah. Be. So I don't think Drake's tripping, bro. At all. No. You know, Wayne, Wayne is. Though. Wayne is though. We seen Wayne. Wayne, Wayne is though. Yeah, and then he shouldn't have came out. And right. Said, he was looking sad. But I, but I guarantee shit, you, Drake was Drake regrets even giving Kendrick the time of day. Though I can guarantee you that. Yeah. Yeah, you know yeah. he switched up on him the first Drake, time. Because Drake Kendrick together. started this shit. Yeah. Yeah. On that, he switched on that up feature. on him. Yeah, he switched yeah. up. Yeah. Drake should have just kept ignoring shit how he usually do. Yeah. But what the internet do? Yeah, same I mean, thing we all get, right. Same thing that happened yeah. with Mo3 Yellow up. Beezy. Yep. Amped it yep. up. Niggas, they up. gas you up. Yep. Same thing that always happened with all these f- Fulio and yep. all yep. these yep. niggas yep. that's dying. Yep. Yep. Look at Rich Homie Quan, man. I know you. Did you ever interview Rich Homie? No, but me and him were super cool. Rich Homie Quan, and I want to say this on camera, and I'm glad I said it while he was alive. When I yep. interviewed Fredo Bang, when I interviewed a lot of people, I always say, that Rich Homie Quan was one of the most authentic rappers. Like, I had an artist named Darrow out of, out of Georgia. He went and did the feature for him. He made Darrow's day. He didn't charge me a dime, wow. and I wanted to pay him. Wow. He was like, no, just just keep promoting my music. Yeah. Like, it's a barter system. We do something for each other. Um, he really had a good spirit, man. And it, I just hate that the beef with him and Thug let up his career because fans feel like they got to choose sides. Yeah. You know, people, they 
Okay, it's Tuesday side, and sometimes you can end up on the wrong end of, end of the stick. Look at Quando Rondo. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because if, if King Von would have killed Quando Rondo, they would have loved King Von for that because it would have added to his demonic aura. Yep. Demonic yep. aura. You yeah. feel me? Mm-hmm. So, Quan, just, Rich Homie just ended up on the wrong end, end of the stick. But no, I, I never interviewed Rich Homie, but me and him always stayed in contact, man. And. He was a good dude, and and uh, and he was depressed about that, about the fall, uh, the his career. He even said it from getting fifty a show to ten a show. That's life. That's that's life. that's, yeah, that's yeah. a lot. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And he was depressed about that, and a lot of that came from fans choosing their side. Wow, are we gonna get that Woody interview? Uh, yeah, I, he he reached out to me before. Um, I, I felt like um, I ain't gonna lie. I felt like the the he was a little high. Price was a little high. Yeah, but uh, I touch many high. He literally no, 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 no. He don't look like that. Yeah, he only he's he straight look. focused. But Woody, uh, Woody, somebody I um I would like to do. He reached yeah. out before. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like I said, we don't know. I know Charles and him is going back and forth on the internet right now. So That's crazy. I, I gotta call Charles and see if it's real. We don't know if it's real, if it's real yeah. or not, but I he think it's real, bro. I think it's speaking real. out. I think it's real. I want to see you do real. a Woody, Woody interview. That yeah. would be cold. Yeah. I, think, yeah. like, I think you would ask some questions that people haven't asked. Yeah, and, you know, over here you go. Oh, that different. was the thing. It wasn't the price. It was the you can't ask this because the case is open. Yeah, so yeah. I'm like, I, I said I'm gonna wait till that shit's over because I don't. I can't. I'm I'm trash at interviewing when you tell me that I can't do something. Yeah, I don't like that either. Yeah, yeah. I don't I'm like cool that on it. And then you you want me to pay? Uh-uh, you. Yeah, no, you can't tell me what to say and then get so, ask me to pay. So I, I, that's I what it was, though. Yeah, yeah. You you and, really and the nerve crazy. of a nigga like that to say it's an open case. Like nigga, think about that. The nerve of this uh, nigga. How do you look on stand? Like bro. when you see him on stand, this is the, this is epic. I've never seen nothing like this yeah, in my life. Bro, bro. I mean, yeah, uh, the nerve of some. It's an open case right now. Yeah, nigga, no. We don't watch. We was, we've been watching you on the stand for the last. We watched the interrogation room video. You, you gave us all we needed. We know, you built this, Rico. Do you yeah. think that Woody is, uh, did, did, I mean, how does Thug come out of this? Is he, and I'll ask you that. I think Thug gonna get some time. I think I'm not too much, though. Remember, Thug already been in jail for two and a half years. I know. That back time gonna it's count. It's been two and a half already. Two and a half yeah. years. This is third summer. Mm. So it's gonna, it's, so Thug gonna end up getting some. I think he, they gotta give him something. They're not, they're not gonna just let him walk. He might get hit with like maybe five, ten years. Remember, he already gonna have about three, four years back time. Thug yeah. might do a year and come home. Thug will be home by 2027, 26, I think. I don't think he'll be down there too much longer at all, bro. I think he'll get charged. I mean, he'll get some time, but his, his back time eat most of it up. Thug will be home real soon, bro. I don't see him be, This case is weak, bro. You did the prosecution, Miss Love, uh, Miss Hilton, the women in the courtroom, bro, just going in circles with these witnesses, bro. I'm, I'm not hearing nothing that's really, you know what I mean? This, <clears throat> this, this, just sounding like, damn. Like, it's, it's just not, nothing that's coming out that's just really making us feel like this is finna go to, you know, the opposite way for Thug and them. Right now, everything look good to me, bro. We just hear a bunch of that is all over the place. Yeah, it's all over Crazy. the place. It's I think they're gonna bro. throw that shit out. Yeah, yeah, I don't bro. think so. It's just too much. It's they too can't much, do, bro. They're charging the state and the city. There's too much money being spent. They not is that a, that is a, a lot of money Rico being made federal. Too. I think it's is it it's state, state Rico. It's state, state Rico. See, federal kind of eighty five percent ninety uh, success rate. I think state. You they, can they shake this. Man, I don't nah, know. Nah, he, I feel like he's right, man. Money, man. It's a circus, fam. It's too it's much to remember, circus. bro. Look how long this damn trial is, bro. This is them, them jurors probably ready for this shit to be over. They bro. are ready for it to be. Yeah, over. they already ready for this, bro. They man, not guilty, right? They, 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 we going home. Yo, yeah. Nah, we going home. Let the niggas go. We going. So yeah, yeah I don't think so, man. I, I'll ask you about. You know, we mentioned Big D earlier, and we mentioned um, R.I.P. Big Rich, D, man. Rich Homie Corn. And I have to mention Beat King. Like these guys uh, yeah. are the same age, bro. Mm-hmm. Like you know, Beat King was thirty nine as well. Like. Man. How does it, how do you look at that being that Help, you guys, bro. these guys is young these guys is 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 young, I'm yeah. older than these guys and you guys y'all y'all younger a little mm-hmm. bit you I'm know? the same age me and B King are same age same age wow yeah. so so I'm how did that, what that make you think about when health, you health like that it just it's a wake Rich up call Rich was your age yeah health like of drugs health like a lot of these people are depressed the internet causes you to feel like you're not doing good enough yeah. and a lot of these people don't love themselves because they don't have certain things mm-hmm. um, they're not wearing certain clothes or driving certain cars so they a lot of these people don't love themselves and then they take they start taking drugs to, to fight the pain to yeah, ease the I pain agree. and um, that just falls under health we need to start eating right um, drinking more water more water <laughs> real <laughs> Mm-hmm. If you gonna do lean, make sure you drink water before and after. Damn. Like it's a lot of things that 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 we aren't um that we aren't talking about. And um, get health insurance. If you gonna cr- do some crash out, make sure you have health insurance so your mom not creating a GoFundMe. Yeah, it's a lot of different. 
we gotta we gotta start addressing. But health is the that's the number one thing for us black people. Diabetes. Yeah, the way we eat. Sugar. The way we salt, eat. Yeah. Like wow. real. Sh- Big ass pictures of Kool Aid. You know, real sugar. Sugar. All that man. You know how much sugar in that lean? Right. 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 A lot. Yeah. Niggas walking around with big ass uh, 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 belly. Yeah. 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 It ain't. Come on, no, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Horrible, man. Man. King, man. That right. shit that niggas ain't talking about, man. And that right. is, it's real shit going on. But you know, B King didn't drink or smoke or nothing. Hell uh, though, he was yeah. bigger. He was bigger, but he was trying. Probably just way eating something. Uh, probably just way eating something. Probably just poking. Yeah, the same thing. They try, all these guys trying. When another, you see them, what was the other Batman scoop? Batman scoop. Yeah, health, bro. Yeah, they're losing weight though. Yeah, yeah people, and they, they, and they all losing weight. They trying. Yeah. Big, big trying. Was, big poke was but, but, see, but see, it starts. It's never too late, but the earlier you start, the, the better. better. Yeah. A lot of times we wait till it's too late, um, and. Man, I'm gonna just let y'all know my girlfriend is with well, my wife, my fiance. She's a man. Uh, congratulations, man. Yeah, I appreciate it. I got That's another baby there. on the way too. I know. I heard I about it. Yeah, congratulations. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy for I, you. I told you when I have one baby, I'm gonna have. You did the right thing. Back. Yeah. I did the same thing yeah. with my wife. Um, I don't want to have no. Uh, to be honest, I don't want to have no. Uh, no, like big wedding. No, I don't. Yeah. No. Private I mean, ceremony I, for the family. And yeah, friends. I'm just like super frugal. Like not even a, it's not even a money thing. But like, really not up to you though, Sean. I Let's know be it's real, not. bro. So you you really <laughs> but she said right the same thing. She said you, the same you, thing. You, you, know. you don't. She'll say that, bro. But you don't know, bro. Damn, you right. You, you really need to think through that because you yeah. ain't no nigga like me. I ain't have a bunch of money with me and her guy. You you yeah. money up now. Courthouse. Yeah, yeah. We did courthouse, but that was too long hey, ago. I came back and hit her with a. She ain't got it on today, but I hit her with a boulder 20 mm. years later, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. But we had to make sure this thing, you know, we were going to last it through. I'd rather just put the money into, like, her That's dreams, the way though. I think, too. Like, all I the, thought like that early. The wedding is cool, but it's just like a show-off thing, and I get it. Yeah, yeah. Like, I get it, but but anyways, uh, my girl, she's an herbalist, though. So, wow. like, all natural healing shit, like, she does that. It's herbs, really? yep, it's yeah. tea. That's the real thing. Wow. Like, so she got you uh, herbed up, like yeah, you feeling good. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Like you, I, I used to get sick a lot. Like ever since I yeah. met her, I don't. Probably once a year, I don't even get sick no more. Taking natural herbs, um, na- uh, herb baths, putting them herbs in your body is real. real. I don't even take no medication from CVS, no pills. No, none of that's all natural. Oh, you got to put me on game, bro. Yeah, bro. You know, yeah. <laughs> you know some shit. Once you take, once you pass, and oh, uh, mm-hmm. so do you go get your regular urine checkups? No. <laughs> no. Oh, well, sometimes I will. Like I went and got a blood. You're right. I went and got a blood test to t- my blood type. So now I know what not to eat. They told me like certain things that I would eat that will make me certain side effects. So I went and got my blood um, samples, and now I know what I shouldn't eat and what I should eat. Wow, but outside deep. of that, I, I don't even get sick no more. Mm-hmm. And my uh, my like we have uh, natural births now. So like my my daughter, she never been. She goes to the doctor uh, like every three months, but she's never got a shot. She doesn't take medication. We I do think all the same thing. Kevin Gates was doing. Yeah, too. yep. Yeah. It's called a natural birth. Yeah, like a water birth. Water, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, in the tub. I like and that. And then um, we get a midwife to come in oh, and do it. And then um. Yeah, it's like we don't take no, uh, we 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 don't do no medication because that medication kills you. Yeah, you're right. Right. I I gotta and and man, kudos to you for figuring it out. But I gotta ask you about just some of the charitable things that you've been doing. I see the basketball team a lot of time, and I see I know back in the day you was giving away money online and all. Yeah, I'll never I'll never do that again. (laughs) (laughs) But just give me some examples. Because you get you give away money to twenty people, then you got. The twenty first person, whoever that didn't get money, now you all you it's like they don't. I was doing shit to try to make people happy and to, so people can like me more. But if they don't get it, or they'll get it and still not like you, or still not a, yeah. appreciate it, <laughs> so it's just like I'd rather start. And one thing, and Charleston sh- says is right. Start with the kids because the kids is you can kind of put them in a position to where. You could teach them at a young age to look at things differently. A lot of these adults that you're trying to help, they're already stuck in their way. Yeah. I don't you know agree with saying? that. I, I, you know I, 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 I don't agree with that. I agree with that because there are cases like what you spoke about last time on here when a person is homeless or they may be going through mental yeah. illnesses on the streets. Those people and some of the people that are in prison that have been in there and got life that's, that's going to die too. in there that have changed. So there's a lot of different people. There's, it's not just the kids, but how are you going to help the kids when you, but see, you wait a minute, how are you going to help the kids when the parents still have the condition yeah 
But see, Do you understand what I just said? See, homeless, oh, yeah. and, homeless in prison, they went through something to change. Yeah, I'm talking about people online. Now that's different. Where I'm giving you see money what I'm to. I just want to never, say that to specify. Yeah, 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 yeah but yeah, yeah. different these cases. people that I was helping weren't going through anything. They just wanted free shit. So yeah. I said, that's why I'm saying I'll never do that again. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. the kids thing, the basketball thing is, is amazing. I like yeah. it. Like, I, like I don't, it. it's not a money grab. Um, like, I want to put these kids in college, even if they go to the NBA or they may want to be a lawyer, but I want to put these kids in college to yeah. where they can go get a degree or maybe college isn't, they go to college and, and it's not for them and they may want to pick up a camera and be the next go yeah. or, you know what I'm saying? Or the next, uh, EC. Boss talk, you know Both what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like it's like that. I just want to give these people a chance to have options because a lot of these people don't have options. Yeah, a lot of these people they don't have a father figure or their mom has to work all the time, so they the mom don't have a chance to look over them. So then what do they do? They go listen to rap music and they listen to all these fake rappers talk about shit that they not doing, and these kids go out there and really do it. Yeah, so I'm saying so that's why I start with the kids. Do you think that rap? Do you enjoy uh, interviewing rappers? No, <laughs> no. I had to ask you because yeah. it's it's a thing where you I came in this game thinking nobody you had to I'll interview rappers. You know what I'm saying? You tomorrow. changed the game for me on that because you started interviewing just personalities. That's you, what I was telling yeah. real life and all them. Look at real life now. They not doing touching no, no rappers. No, they they they're doing they, actors. They, and like yeah, that. Yeah, I remember when yeah. I, you see me come in the game, I come in right. Yeah, <laughs> I was. I told. Yeah, yeah, because it's like I told Big D that I said Big D, bro. And rappers don't like opening up to who they really are. They At don't all. tell their story. At they all. they want to be judged. They yeah. want to they want to rock around, bro. It was one time, and this is when I stopped taking money for interviews. A rapper paid me to in, no. A rapper paid me to interview him. He's from. I think he might have been from Jacksonville. I don't want to say his name. Yeah. Um, he didn't really blow up or anything, but it was just the fact that he did this. He paid me to interview him and wouldn't even answer me, bro. It was like he... He wouldn't answer. He tried to act like he didn't want to be there for the aesthetic, for the... To be hard. So to he be paid tough. some bread and then sit there like, nigga, man, what you talking about? Like, like, like <laughs> he, he paid me some bread <laughs> to interview him and then sat back as if I was being a fed. Yeah. Like as if you was asking the wrong question. Yeah, I'm like, bro, you told me you wanted me to ask you certain things. It was like to make him look hard. He paid him for a skit. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. really played yeah. you, didn't he? Yeah, he, he like, didn't hey. play me because no, I got really paid, did, but, but he played you. Yeah. Yeah. Your, your <laughs> shit is worth more than money, yeah. money. That nigga played you because that was wrong, bro. That shit, and I was like, you man. know what? What? <laughs> man, he played. I would look like man. I would, hey, I would have been so confused though too. I'm like, what the fuck? What are I you got, doing? I got a couple more questions. I'm gonna get you out of here, uh, Sean. Um, I gotta ask you about Go Yeah Yo because his progress. I know you was early on on here last I'm time. I'm proud saying, of him for leaving. You know, but he left and he been with Soldier Boy. He's out doing his, you know, his his. Feel what he was kind of doing before he left. If you think back, yeah, he was more hanging with Soldier Boy and them and doing yeah. stuff with them. And do you think he's finding his niche market again? Because yeah. I mean, I know a lot of guys from Fort Worth, and Fort Worth is the gang capital of Texas. Yes, um, you know, very yeah. rough city, and that's all they know is what they see. That's why it's very important to travel so you can see different things. You can it. it now, like this, Yayo called me the other day, and it's not the same Yayo. It's like his eyes have opened up to a bigger world yeah, now. It's not yeah. just Texas, yeah. and and people see people knowing him out of town is waking up, waking him up yeah. to like, damn, okay, I'm not just local Joker. I gotta go harder. So yeah, I'm proud of Yayo. Yeah. I always told him to leave. Stop worrying about Sauce Walker. Stop worrying about CJ Casino. And I f with them guys, but he was too stuck on the local beef and what these guys got going and not worried about the other outside yeah. shit where it's millions of people mm -hmm. there. Yeah. So I'm proud of Yayo, man. And Yayo's a f***ing genius. I got, I got to bring him up here. Man, you got to. I'm, yeah. I want to ask you also before I get you out of here, but shout out to uh, Go Yayo. Yeah, We've mentioned Yayo. him. Yeah. We've been keeping his name going on Boss Talk whether he come over here or not. Yeah, I'm going to bring him Texas, over here. Man. I'm going to grab him by his uh, collar and get him over here. Yeah. Already. I got to ask you also, Trap Boy Freddie came home. Uh, Trap Boy, for me, you supposed to have been writing him. I wrote him. 
You didn't. I didn't write him. Yeah, I, but we I knew he was about to come home. No, he wasn't going a long he, time. He, he DM'd me. I think the Boss Talk interview came up and he DM'd me. He DM'd Yeah, so that's why I didn't. Um, I knew he was about to come home. Okay, I didn't know yeah. he was about to come home. Yeah. But at any rate, how do you think he's going to be coming home? And I've seen him. He he, 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 he shot out here a little bit. You know, he stepped out of yeah. the game the other day. Like, how do you see he his career? His, he dropped his first day he out video. He dropped his first day yeah. out video. Do you, did you like it? What did you think about it? And do you feel like he's going to add uh, essence to Dallas this time in yeah, a bigger I mean, way? Yeah, because he came home with the new Dallas shit in motion. Yeah, he and, jumped on that. And I like that they're all together. Yeah, It's not like an old Dallas versus new Dallas. Like, that shit would have been gay. I like that they came together and they're yeah. all embracing each other. Um, I like that um, he's focused on, like, he texts me a lot. Like, we okay. text a lot. Um, I think him and Rain texted the other day. And what? It, yeah, this is exclusive. Yeah. I, I, That's big. They may be mad at me, but they were just like, yo, I'm not going to mention you no more. Um, I'm That's not going to mention you yeah. no more. And and don't mention me unless it's get money. So, yeah, but how do you think? Wait a minute. See, now when you say that, you, you got to think about it to what just happened and stuff at the courthouse and all that. This, do you feel like this is going to be a stance that's going to have, but just the conversation to be held in yeah. is a yeah, big, that was, that's that was big. Dope. That you know what I'm saying? Yeah, just to dope. have that conversation, and I think that's dope just to even say it, and I wish they would do more of that yeah. it, openly too because a lot of people, it'll pretty much let people get off that, you know, yeah, they'll yeah. calm down yeah. a little bit, bro. I think so too. So you feel like rain and trap, you know what I mean, talking, I mean, the texting back and forth, that's that's good I for think us. that's good. I think calming good. some of this shit yeah. down. You know what I mean? asked Yella uh, on here, I was like, man, what, does you and Rain sitting down together do for the city? What does that bring to the city? What does that help? You see what I'm yeah. saying? And, um, you know, that's, but he said something that was so vital. He said if it helps somebody to not be for save a life, pretty much, mm -hmm. you know, it's worth to, worth doing it. And I agree with that. Do you think Rainwater would ever do that? We know, because, you know, Rain going to feel like the Mo3 fans going to look at him like, oh, nigga, you, you, you sold, you, I mean, you, you let us down. Rain you has know? called I me. I think he's tried. I Rain think he's has been called trying. me a few times trying to sit down with Yella in the same room. Um, but the thing, it was, it was like, yo, if we're going to do this, we can't have entourages. We seen what happened yesterday. Mm. And I don't want nothing happening on my channel because then they're going to come too. back to me yeah. saying that yeah. I did this. But Rain been trying to sit down with Charleston. He wants to end everything because Rain does. With Charleston or Yellow? Both. But with both. Okay. Yeah, yeah, both. He wants to sit down with both of them on Say Cheese and um and and iron everything out. But you know, you have entourages that want to come. And yeah. I don't want nothing. That's crazy. No, that's channel. crazy. You said it. I got to throw my two cents in there. I'm gonna say this behind the scenes. Yeah, you know what I mean with Yella and Rain they not trying to talk bro like I had you know wow, we, so you we, 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 we've actually had mutual call on the phones and call me Sco I got Yella on the phone can we yeah. get Rain on the phone Rain, Rain ain't they, I mean far as it ain't you know what I mean they it, ain't, it ain't been looking good this court case was coming up so I'm not for sure I think Yella been wanting to talk to Rain really bad lately I think Yella wanted to you know what I mean? Say, fam, take this and let's leave this. Yeah. What does this court case do? Well, at the end, I mean, of the I mean he's I, trying to get he's he trying to get, get some paper. Yeah, right. Yeah, right, right, right a million dollars. So it, I think it, I think Yellow been trying to catch up the rain and kind of say, hey, bro, let's you know what I mean? Right, let's let's find a way to end this. Yeah. I'm not for sure if it's about no beef. What it's about? I think on Yellow end, it's more about this damn million dollars. Yeah, I, think, I, think, I think I think Yellow's lawyer Yellow's lawyer came up with a proposal this week. I think. I, I can't really say what it was, but it wasn't a million dollars. I know what it was. Yeah, yeah. but but, so, but that's uh, what I'm saying. Yeah. It, 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 it's crazy that these that this even went this far to get to court. I don't I don't know if I go to court with all the stuff that I'm seeing from the outside. Yeah, you mean if you, you rain or you yellow? You so mean you yellow, you saying, you're saying yellow, yellow, I'm not going to court. You so you yellow, you would have you would have settled with some, it. some Hell little bit yeah, of money. I'd have settled it. Uh -huh. I'd have settled it. Nah, if, but, if it could be settled. Yeah, if, if it could be settled. Will work with me. Yeah. I, I'm gonna mm -hmm. try to. I'm gonna try to get him on the phone. Rainwater yeah. say. Rainwater say he want a million. I did. He did exactly what he wanted to do. Rainwater say he want a million dollars. Rainwater say his doctor fees are like damn it two hundred thousand. He, he said. Say Rain said I can't take nothing. Let Rain need a million. He said. Rain he want a million I need, I need an M word. fees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Court, court, court fees. fees. Yeah. That's hefty. Like bro, I yeah. pray for those guys. Even with what I seen yesterday on the internet, I don't even. I I really don't want to see nobody yeah. else leave I, this earth. Bro. I, yeah, I, I agree. I agree with I that. Show. Like, guys, I got the video. I didn't even post it because I'm like, I'm so done. We with were like, one them. Yeah, I we were talking about that. Yeah, we, me and him. I ain't gonna lie. We was waiting on you. We was waiting on you to post it. It's like that, bro. I wanted to ask you about that. I'm like, because I'm in a bad position on that. Even the Charleston Trap Boy shit was like, damn. Was that real? I don't want to, yeah. I think one of Trap Boy's aunt, people in the day, Auntie Rides, was trying to clown Charleston. And, 
you know, Char- you know Charleston Charleston. I don't know I if I thought that was a skit, man. I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. I could be wrong. I don't know. I thought that was a skit. You got to watch Charleston. You got to know something, man. Nah, it's not a skit. You know what I'm saying? What you think, Scott? What Mo3 said it's about it? What Mo3 said? He said, man, I, what was, uh, I, can't, I can't put Sean in my business. He's a blogger. <laughs> <laughs> what Mo3 said? Yeah, 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 what Mo3 like when people think when people hear that and it's funny because a lot of Dallas people when they get mad at me they always say that especially yeah. on Facebook yeah. <laughs> wow I'm gonna end um, this thing too man bro. wait so but I just wanna let people know <laughs> when when Mo3 Mo3 really did tell me that on the phone but it wasn't like how he put it yeah, yeah. well how did he put it what did Mo3 say yeah, yeah what did Mo3 say it was like um, he, he really said that but it wasn't like it wasn't like him being mad at me when yeah. he said it. Okay, he wasn't even upset. Yeah, it was like a joke. He understood your job. Got, yeah. Did you, did you, did you even see that he didn't care about the fact that you talked to you know what I mean, both no, sides? No, that nigga never. I told Yellow Beezy yeah. this shit. I said, bro, them, them niggas never, he never hated on Yellow Beezy to me. Yeah. Like, they really kept that shit street for real. Yeah. Like, even Yella, Yella never went to the internet. Like, even after Mo3 passed, he never dissed him or... Trap did, but like Yella always kept that sh- like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So. I think it's in I, just after just dealing with him in the interview, his his demeanor, Yella's demeanor, and the way that he comes across, he not gonna. That's not him. Mm-hmm. I don't think he even liked this internet stuff. I don't think at he all, did. at all. So I, I think that. But I asked him, was that a is that a plus or not? Do you think you waited too late, or do you feel like you should have gotten the podcast game earlier? And I also asked him, and this ain't came out yet, probably, but. You know, you guys need to do a podcast. Your your camp. I think people don't realize. Nah, nigga, nah. No. Dallas, we got it sold think, up, man. No, we, I got, think, we don't need no, no more bloggers, man. Listen, nah, bro. I think the niggas keep rapping. Man, Everybody can niggas over here, man. You know, they don't understand the game that's <laughs> Come changed, on, man. bro. You know the game that's changed. Me and y'all know this <laughs> yeah, game that's nah, changed. Yeah, definitely for These sure. These rappers is not really. You you got to push your brand, bro. Yeah. And I just don't think that this the, the music and the way that it's hitting right now for certain people, they got to find something else that's going to hit, think, man. I think Yella had a hell of a run. I feel like nobody could. I do too. Yeah, he did, yeah. I feel like nobody could ever hate on him. He all, he said he was top two when I in my interview, and he mm-hmm. still makes great money. He said he owns his masters and everything. Um, but I feel like, you know, it's going to be a point to where Yellow BZ can find a Dallas artist or artist. And can Yellow has the connections to get artists where they need to go. Um, I yeah. feel like Ye- Yellow should eventually just become a CEO. Do you think you, you did a poor job? Of, of structuring this thing to where our labels could be here in Dallas and be magnified. I think that was something that you had control of. Mm-hmm. And I think it's people were waiting on you to pull the trigger. You've had ample amount of time. I think that's a lot of the reason why Dallas is like it is today. Yeah, and I feel like- I'm being um, real. Yeah. Like I never, I never, um, when I told you about Zillionaire Montana, I never tried to sign them, but I, I, I don't even- That's a problem. Why? Because I think we needed a big label here. I really do. It, and no, I think you had the resources to do I it. I still do. Like, yeah. In a way, in a major way, though. Like a yeah. like a cash money QC type But do he only, he only signed Dallas? Well, I'm yeah. thinking it's the, but it don't matter. I'm just saying, no, he's been dealing no, with everybody. No, 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 I'm asking you. De- de- do you think he need to sign no, like think, artists out of Dallas? I think the infrastructure to the Say Cheese uh, platform and just the brand yeah. could have did a lot way bigger things in music and made it a lot different in Dallas if he really put his mind to it. But he did. But his, his, I don't think... I don't think that's where his heart was at, but yeah. I think he could have done it. I really do. I, I, and I still can. Yeah. Um, you know what I mean? And, and it, I'm, I'm talking about early on. Yeah. You know I'm telling yeah. the truth. I, I tell people. I did, to be honest, I didn't know the business in the beginning. So you yeah. learned it. Here I lately. learned it. How, well, how much have you learned in the last three it, years? Bro, so much. So you like, think that in the last three years, this is when it's... Bro, like, if I knew what I knew five years ago, I would have had everybody under them. There you go. Yeah. Under them, bro. yeah. But now I know. Um, and I mean... It, the shit's pro, the shit's doing its thing now. Yeah. Four bats, you got big eggs. Yeah, you got, yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, do you, is Texas like on the pinnacle right now? And it's now? more. It's so. You know many. what I'm saying? Like I, when you look at Memphis, they are they doing what they were yeah, doing Memphis, before? Memphis are they are they on? The, uh, you know that's called who we got over there? Big boogie. Who? Yeah, Glorilla. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That name alone holds so much weight right now. You know what I mean? yeah, Memphis, you got money bag, yo. You got you got big bully. Like you still said, got Pooh Shiesty about to get out. Yeah, Ooh, that's gonna be big. You got you got, you got CM, Fat, yeah. He's from West Memphis. Yeah, across the bridge, mud baby. That's just, yeah. Oh yeah, he got yeah. South still holding. South yeah yeah. yeah. <laughs> South side yeah. still holding. Finesse two no. times. Finesse God. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot in Memphis. Lot. Damn. Wow. I think I think before we get out, I think Dallas is. 
Dallas is up there with the Houston. Yeah, they pulling up. I yeah. think you. I think Dallas may have more going on in Houston right now. So oh yeah, with that new Dallas and all that. We gonna see this. I think we'll know for sure by the time holidays in the first quarter here. Yeah, yeah. we yeah. gonna know it the first quarter because y'all saying zillionaire yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all saying them Montana seven hundred. Right now, them, y'all them, saying them, them that. Cats, them up but, and cats. But, but but we got the music. It got it, hey, it got to be pumping mm-hmm. because I'm telling you right now. When you hear that big X, it's something different, bro. I'm be I real. like Big X. You know yeah. Big X got, <laughs> remember this though, Big X got personality. Like we say, he look different. Big nigga he got personality. He that big, he swag. Big X got a lot going on what with his personality. What about OT? Is he, is he declining or is he inclining still? Uh, Let's talk about it. I mean, D-Baby, after all the antics is, that just happened, you know, some the shootings and fake this and uh, the, what that boy came out and said? Uh, one of the guys came out of the club. All kind of shit been going on weird. Was, that was real? No, nah, I don't know. I don't think that was nah, real. Nah, you talking about Brick Wolf. Brick yeah, Wolf. No, I don't Brick think Wolf. that was real. Bro. Nah, he signed, a, he signed, he probably signed a paper route empire, the Dolphin and my yep. mouth. Yeah, I think that was fake. I think he was saying that he was just uh, on some, on some, on some how is, uh, joking How is shit. Mexican OT looking? Is he looking like he inclining or declining or leveling off? Or this what's is going? leveling off right yeah. now. I yeah. mean, he has to hit with Paul Wall. Touring, um, I know Big X is touring. What about D Baby? D Baby, D Baby was holding him back, and D Baby could be a superstar. The lean, the lean, the drugs, the bro. Drugs. Holding, holding him back, holding him back. back. The yeah. same thing I told y'all earlier. Yeah. Them, that them drugs, bro. Yeah. But that's his aesthetic, though. Every video he got a double cup. Yeah, but yeah. double you know cup. What I'm yeah. Saying? Well, and that lean for real, man. Like, that you know lean I mean? is real, that bro. Lean. Let me tell you something, and man. It's expensive. When, when, growing up, you know, I was signed. To, I was signed. Up, I was rapping. I was with Lil Flip. Mm. And man, bro, I, 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 ain't, I ain't never seen no shit like that for real. I'm talking about that drink. You know, talking about for? I'm talking about like this shit is cute. What we talking about? Yo, I'm talking about some with that. It's you know expensive. what I mean? Drinking. Yeah. Like it's like it's like to the point to where you're working just to get high now. Yeah, it's bro. It's like you're chasing the high. Damn. I hope them boys be all right. Yeah. Y'all got nervous. You know what I'm, I'm just saying. I hope them boys be all right. Yeah, man. Man. Rest in peace to Fulio too. Yeah, rest um, Fulio, That man. was crazy. That was real YBC crazy. YBC Duel in Philly, he was killed. Um, I knew him yeah, very well. Yeah, yeah, YBC Duel, um, yeah. Um, um, he he he's from my family. Stay on the same block as some wow. of his people. Yeah, West sixteen Philly. year old murdered him too. Sixteen, 16 year old killed him. Yeah, sixteen Switch. year old kid. Yep. yep. Yeah, I and the 16 step. year old that killed him was on the cover of ESPN yeah. track star uh-huh, track star he was like about 8, 9 yes. years old yep <clears throat> yes yeah so really that's what I'm saying and this 16 year old got a couple bodies too he yes he do with just one of them he, I think he had a couple bodies couple so. bodies yeah crazy out here bro yeah. it's really really crazy um, who else enchanting yeah. man we didn't talk about bro. enchanting petty love it's a lot of man man, man did that and I ask y'all this yeah. uh, shout out to Johnny Damn D <laughs> Johnny did that, did that kill his 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 moment after that, we ain't heard now. You gotta I ain't ask seen him. him. He did hella investigating on yeah, that. Yeah, I, I, I just brought him on the show. I, I, you seen that? that? Oh, yeah. man, I talked to him that day. I'm trying to get him back over here. Yeah, I mean, no, I'm be honest with you. Johnny Damn D came on the show because they was they nigga was they needed somebody to talk to. You know what I mean? I go live. So he, I remember he, I remember him telling me that he didn't want to get off the show. Like he wanted to stay on there all. We was on there for like three, four hours. He didn't want to leave. Like he really just wanted to vent to people and talk to people. And he cried on the show, and that he was really going through it, bro. Yeah, you know, what I, mean? I, I don't know if it did nothing to his movement or not. I do feel like he was. He looked a little more happy. I feel like when people seen him online before that, it was like a happier situation. Him doing the boogie dance. I think now people got it like a kind of like a dark cloud there a little bit. Damn. But uh but nah, but yeah, rest in peace Enchanting, man. I mean I don't think he had nothing to do with that shit though. For you know the she way people so putting, talented, bro. Yeah. Definitely talented. Rest in peace Enchanting. One of the main man. girls out, out out of the Dallas Fort Worth area, man. And what was that? Drugs again? Yeah. Yep, mm-hmm. Yeah. Drugs. Yep. Man, it's wow. it's hard out here, man. These people out here doing fitting all and everything dying. Depression. Bro. All of this stems from depression. And music. Music. Shit not working yeah. out. Certain places you want to be at, it's not happening fast enough. Yep. Then you start blaming yourself. It all starts from there, bro. Yep. Wow, man. Thank you guys for coming on the show, man. How can people get a hold of you, Sean? Hey, man. Y'all know where I'm at. Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. Um, all this. Uh, Facebook, Sean Cotton, everything. Say cheese, everything. Say cheese. What about you, uh, man? man? Crisco, just say Free no. Diddy, man. Free Diddy. <laughs> Free Diddy, man, it is. <laughs> free Diddy, free Diddy, man. Yeah, yeah, I asked my wife, how many are we allowed to have? You know, I'm gonna do a search when it's over. I'm gonna, I, 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 I think it's some more of these right here. Nah, That's man. Hilarious. You know me, man. Just say no to Scope, man. You know I me, mean? Big Scope gang, or no gang, or don't bang. We don't break the news. Nigga, we just break, break the, the news. news down. Down. Don't blame me, man. Don't blame me, bro. I did not do this, man. We just break it down, man. Man, now. it's been another great segment, man. A boss talk 101, what a boss is talk.